Yeah. And it was like a month before we all turned around and went, wait, what? Yeah. N- no. What? What? What could the script for episode eight have been that it didn't have... It involved the main characters. The protagonists <laughs> yeah. from this movie. What? Uh, quest items. Mandalorian did so, pad. Somebody, somebody at some point in this process is full of shit. <laughs> Need Maybe. to go take a force shit. I brought it back. Uh, okay. Take a couple of troops. I, I killed all the Mandos, but it, okay, there's something wrong with the bikes now, I think. Oh, fuck, God. They're double quest. parked. I told you. That's true. We gotta write him a ticket. This is the true duty of the Jedi is to be a meter maid. And take lunch breaks. Swoop bike is warm to the touch. There's a signal device, but no field. Shout out uh, to you, Andy, and your weird work ethic. Yeah! Uh, it's missing its signal device. Shit. Do nothing. Okay. <laughs> that was my option. Alright. What the fuck am I doing in this? This is a side quest I'm wasting my goddamn time with. Uh, maybe, maybe if you put some Ewok shoes in it? <laughs> Get your own goddamn Ewok shoes. Is that this game or Cut Me Too? I'm pretty sure it's this game. And so you're supposed to get. I think you're supposed to get tech lands if you have mission, because like your brother is being a piece of shit or something. I hope I'm not making all that up, but that sounds like a thing that would be in this game. All right, let's let's disarm again. After I just got done rearming. Now what are we disarming for? Because I think I didn't kill all the the mandos. Oh my god. I know, right? Can you just finish this genocide already? <laughs> They, Please. they drew first blood. They drew first blood. <laughs> yeah. Any Danny DeVito impression, that's not a Rambo impression, by the way. Any Danny DeVito impression has got to have a suitable amount of yeah attached to it. I almost threw up doing that. So did he. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. More fucking Mandos. Now... This should be simpler. Danny DeVito at any moment is 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 just seconds of lapsed concentration away from vomiting all over. I I would believe that. There's a fucking It's Always Sunny episode where they do the goddamn intervention on him. And he just like gurgles beer and like belches and Mac is just like, you're a disgusting, vile animal. Oh god, that show's great. Everybody watch that show if you don't already. Which, if you're watching this, you probably already do. Um, Bastila. There you go. <laughs> you wanna you wanna defend that pronunciation? Yeah, dude, it's Bastille Day somewhere. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? It's like you know, it's like five o'clock somewhere. It's Bastille Day somewhere. It's not. It's <laughs> I can confirm that's not true. Are you sure? I know time works. Do we have a calendar somewhere? I don't see a calendar anywhere. Um, the fuck kind of Senate logic is that? I found snow outside, so climate change isn't real. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. But anyway, it's Bastille Day, so she's Bastila. It's not Bastille Day. Okay. I submit. If we, if we don't air this episode until Bastille Day and just, like, air it out of order... Then... Then I will acknowledge... Then I'll put a huge annotation being like, Aha! I called it! Fuck you, Yoshi! Uh, it's Bastila Day! Bastila Day! Bastila Shan! Uh. Hang on. Make sure Brent don't get murdered as usual. Murder. Oh god, that sucked. Getting stun locked! As Mando! You think, like. In Star Wars, like, you know, we say, like, oh, man, and we're upset. Do they say, like, oh, Mando? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Next question! <laughs> I was just thinking, because, like, you know, we always talk about how fucking Mandalorians always have the... the or, like, Star Wars, they always have the, the Star Warsism. Like we, we know what the Star Warsism is. They say poodoo. Oh, yeah. Poodoo! George Lucas hates you. Nerf herder! You. Okay, Wookiee guy. 
I killed all those guys that you wanted me was to it, kill. Was it you that I explained to that, no, we know what a nerf looks like? Uh, attack the clones, and I, like, blew your mind? I, no. did, so, I did that to someone in the last year, and they were like, I don't think wait, it was me. what? That's why that scene is in there? To show us what nerf herders <laughs> heard? What? Oh, Fuck you, Prequel Trilogy. Fuck you. I saw... Uh, Which is, of course, exactly what Juan sounds like when he's upset. That is. I mean... With more words and gestures. Uh, I saw someone posted, I think, on Reddit or something, like an image of a place like a mile out from Skywalker Ranch that looks exactly like the fucking fields of Naboo in Attack of the Clones. And it's like, huh. I guess George went out one day and was like, that looks nice. I'll make a huge scene chunk of my movie devoted to this area. Place, oh boy, let me see because I think this thing is gonna explode. Maybe let me, let me look at my Mandalorian data pass because I got like three. And the, 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 the quest uh, new items, quest items, Mandalorian data pass. And signal device, not what, whatever. Save, just in case we get blowed up, like the Death Stars. No, nope. oh, he did a spooky appear. Oh, he's he's talking big now. This, like, background white noise does sound like we're on a goddamn airplane. <laughs> okay, as are, usual. Are they trying to be the Predator? Is that the yep. plot line? Yep. Okay. That's exactly it. And we are going to, as usual, buff up and rough up. Okay. It's a new thing. <laughs> hey. Oh, shit. Whoa, someone got stunned. That's awesome. This guy's not even in combat yet. Uh, how about you? Get whirlwinded, bitch! Are you saved? Asshole. Nope, there we go. Someone got it. Force push. Yeah, that's the force push. Oh, it's like we're Jedi or some shit. Yeah. Get him. God, Get him. I'm so close. Uh, every Stab time in the face with your lightsaber sword I have like lasers. fucking like near goddamn PTSD from Terrace because every time we get into a fight I'm like oh no Brent's gonna die but he's actually pretty useful now deaths have become a lot rarer yeah on the way back from Canada last weekend I was in the Toronto airport and wanted to buy some candy but I only had American money on me and I asked is it okay if I pay with American uh with with American currency, and she said yes, sure, that's fine. It's an international airport. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to ask just in case, but it's not usually surprising. Um, but I'm just realizing now, looking at what's on my desk, that she paid me back not with... Um, she, she, she gave me change not in American currency, nor Canadian currency, but a mixture of the two. Oh. And I am now realizing I have no idea if she gave me... Correct even change. A even approaching <laughs> yeah. change. Huh. I think she may have just handed me a handful of coins. <laughs> it's been like and I took it. it and went, yes, thank you. I handed you money <laughs> for goods that I was purchasing from you, and you gave me metal yeah. in addition to the candy. I, <laughs> I just like That is how this transaction should have gone. Thank you. Good day. I just imagine this, like, she's just working in this fucking airport ass shop and she's like can I pay with America and she's like fuck it's the end of a long day I don't give a shit anymore <laughs> take it whatever I'm not even gonna count she seemed so she, she seemed very amicable about it at the time or else I would I would have felt bad about it yeah and now now I'm wondering like did she just give me a couple of like Canadian coins when she meant their American equivalents or did you, like, really think it out, and this is my correct change with exchange rates being taken into consideration? 
Which is the answer I want, but no, it is probably not. Yeah, yeah. I got some kind of thing from the Zwoogie, but I don't know what it is. I don't know. Chainsaw? Might be. Might be. We have a lot of guns. 